<laughs> yeah. So, yeah, when you find Blaith, there's like a, a few different dead black knights around him. Oh, I didn't realize that because I never found Blaith again because I didn't do I I was doing Randy's storyline. I had no idea it had the impact it did on the story, though. Right. On my other character, I ended up going with just the generic ending. I got that. So I don't know. Maybe I'll do a frenzy. flame. Eh. I want to do a frenzy flame ending, but I want to do that on a frenzy character. And none of the characters I had like frenzy just kind of sucks in PVE. Well, yeah, because it doesn't affect anything that's not a human. Right. Uh, but yeah, so you, when you go back there, Blaith has taken out some black knives, but now he's like crazy. Uh, you go to Salubis, he's dead. Uh, behind Salubis's tower is Blaith's mask, which when you pick it up and you read it, it gives you the implication that that was not him. Oh. It's just yeah, some guy in a fursuit. <laughs> well, yeah. Relic of an assassin who assumed the guise of Rani the Witch's loyal shadow. Some, some furry. <laughs> Which, I mean, that makes sense because, you know, Blaith isn't wearing a mask. That's just his face. Yeah. So the idea that you'd be able to get that would not make any sense unless it was someone who was trying to impersonate him. Right. Then you go talk to E.G. E.G., when you tell him about Blaith, goes, what the fuck? How'd he get out of his cell? Which then implies that apparently he's been, you know, out of his gourd for quite a while, and they just penned him up so he wouldn't hurt anyone. And the guy that you've been talking to the whole time was apparently a black knife in disguise. Neat. Which, in theory, I guess Blaith managed to break out of his cell and fucking kill because you find the mask. Yeah. All right, so you do fight Blaith because he's Alpha's rocker. Yes. And then you just get his armor set because there's a black knife masquerading in a fursuit somewhere. Well, you get his armor set because you kill Blaith. Well, yeah, that's you what I... his armor. The mask is the thing that someone was using to impersonate him. Gotcha. And then, when you reload the area, uh, if you, like, leave EG and then go back to him, he's dead. Oh, god damn it. Yeah. And no, like, I just realized something. Uh, fuck, that was right in front of me the entire time. Oh. Uh, it's a spoiler for the story if you care about it. Oh, really? So, the two main gods of this game, Malenka and... Fuck, who's the other one? Roderick? No, not Roderick. Um, what are the three names that this game has? Uh, no, it begins with... It's actually kind of by itself. Is They're the same fucking person. And it's like I figured that out at the end of, be of beating the game. And I'm sitting there like, oh, I thought the goddess was like a goddess. And then I ended up fighting a god, like male. And I'm like, what the hell's going on here? Why was it like that? And it was just like, and I just look at the intro trailer and then you can clearly see it in the first two frames of this trailer is that it's, um, I just said her name. Malenka is sitting there breaking the Elden Ring. And then at the second hit, it switches to a male. It's just like, fuck, how did I miss that? Well, it's like, uh, you've talked to the Turtle Pope, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, like, we're talking to the Turtle Pope. It's like, oh, yeah, there's a secret in the statue. You do an emote at it, it changes and literally says it. It's like, uh, Malenka is so-and-so, or whatever the fuck. Oh, also, because I need to say it, because I... Still mad at it, finding it last night. So you get Blaze's armor. It has the description of like a long, you know, the long fur coat, yeah, or cape to keep him warm, so on and so forth. Um, the end of the description, I swear to God, says, "But the cold bothered him anyway." Yes, <laughs> I have seen that. I've seen that post on Twitter. I can't fucking believe they made such a shitty reference. Yeah. 
for no re like it's not even that it's a bad reference it's on top of that it's such a shoehorned nonsensical thing to say at the end of that right like it doesn't even fit with its own self yeah it's like oh my he's he's a cool character everyone loves him the storyline is actually compelling and interesting and then you throw that crap in at the end why would you do that yeah <laughs> I found a don't give up skeleton. <laughs> it's an old meme, but it checks out. Funny you should say that right as I'm going through giant skeleton area. I wonder how common the pull my finger jokes are in this universe. It doesn't have a fucking arm. <laughs> oh boy, can't wait for him to walk out here and have the first person I ever meet call me a virgin. Fortunately, you are maidenless. maidenless. Without guidance, you are fated. It seems. Thanks. Yeah, what of it? Yeah, that's not true. I know many girls. <laughs> you you don't know her. She lives in Canada. Yeah. Tails. <laughs> I tried to summon my horse. Good job, Wayne. Yamfa hasn't put out a video yet. I'm very sad. Snail just knocked me off my horse. I am very upset. I still think the horse needs a fucking stamina bar, man. There needs to be some better indication of when the hell you're going to get knocked. <laughs> yeah, other than like a stiff breeze. It's weird. It's almost as if the horse has poise akin to Dark Souls 2, where... So, a, a quick, like, scientific lesson about this. Poison Dark Souls 1 operated on a timer, where when you got hit, it would take five seconds for it to build back... It would wait five seconds, and then it would instantly go back up to its maximum amount. Right. Each hit book did it X amount of poise damage. Dark Souls 2 worked similarly... However, I believe what it did is it was a gradual regeneration, and the regeneration could take up to, like, two or three minutes. So even though you were done fighting something from, like, an area before that, something could stagger you in one hit in the next area because you hadn't actually regenerated your poise yet. Right. So it almost seems like that's kind of how the horse operates, where you just... Every hit you take just keeps depleting the bar, and then eventually when you get to the last hit, you just get knocked off regardless of its health or what the attack was or anything. Yeah, that makes sense. And the... Again, that, I, wish there was, fallen, but... I wish there was an option to auto-summon horse instead of saying, like, hey, would you like to spend a fucking flask? It's like, of course I would! <laughs> I'm running from a sentient tree with a large mace. <laughs> Please let me run. Yeah. I can't believe this game's been fucking sped running under an hour. Well, considering you can just wrong warp to the end of the game. <laughs> Fair enough. Not exactly surprised. But again, I kind of like that stuff.
because it just gives you options, and options are always good. Yeah. Like, as you are demonstrating that you're going through for the fucking 18th time or whatever it is now. Because you just want to keep exploring the things that you have available to you. <laughs> Damn, man, this sucks. First girl I meet calls me a virgin. <laughs> you know what? I just realized, given the setup of the game, this really is made for that one guy talking about what's her face. <laughs> Melina. Melina. He found his true calling. Yeah. Oh, that skeleton shoots lasers. That's, well, that's actually really cool. But I really don't want to... I really want nothing to do with that. Yeah. So these things have a lot of health. Granted, I'm not using a strike weapon. That probably doesn't help matters. I just realized I probably want to do that, too. Oh god, I'm out at night, at like a low level. Uh, things not to do in this game. Venture at night, for any reason. Yeah, I learned that lesson in Dragon's Dogma. Walking around at night is something that you don't do until you feel more than capable of doing so. Because you will get jumped. Yeah, you'll get bodied pretty pretty quickly. There you are, you motherfucker. Fucking mariners in the snow. <laughs> I love the mariners. Boat boy. Yeah, eat shit. No more giant skeletons. I was a little upset that of the three flails in the game, two of them are magic. Uh, yeah. I think there's actually four, so you can get one from the, uh, from the knights. I am not fighting two spear guys at once. Fuck that. It's annoying. Out of all the fun engagements, this is not one of them. All right, I need to figure out what I want to do with this build. So going to light weapon, so dex is a given. Do I want to go magic? Or do I want to do like a bleed or do what Kav's doing and do bleed and frostbite and just kind of shred things? I mean, that'd be pretty simple to do. I mean, do a little bit of reading real fast. Of course, it's another goddamn magic weapon. Everything's magic in this game. Everything. Every goddamn thing. <laughs> if it's not magic, it's bleed. Or both. Fucking Moonveil Katana, which is magic and bleed.
The other thing is good too, this compared to games like Breath of the Wild, no fucking stamina bar when trying to climb shit. Or, well, flat out, you just can't. <laughs> right. well, if you're not fighting something, you don't consume stamina. Yeah. Also, even more importantly, not like Breath of the Wild, no fucking weapon degradation. <laughs> Actually, yeah, we don't have durability at all in this, do we? Yes. All right. Uh, let me figure out the way where it always first. should be. Because I don't care who you are or what you're doing. You're not going to beat an iron bar until it breaks. Then it becomes curved iron bar. Right. Then it becomes a curved greatsword instead of just a greatsword. <laughs> oh, I was going to say a curved iron bar. It means it scales with dex instead of strength. Oh, I thought you were going to say it gets, <laughs> it's easier to reach the G spot. I uh... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, right. was that too far? <laughs> no. <laughs> I was thinking about how I could make this worse, but I'm like, you know what? I'm streaming. Let me not do that. I mean, now's the time to do it. Yeah, right. <laughs> With that. Uh, I could do dragon stuff. Could do that. Well, I don't know if there's. I don't know if there's necessarily anything that's like dragony with weapons. It's mostly the incantations. Yeah. I mean, it's not to say you can't like oh formulate God. something that would be fitting for it. But... Stamina, please. I need to just stop swinging at the air like a fucking idiot. I hear one. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, shit. <laughs> I forgot they were there. I just ran into it like another pack of dogs. Man, why the hell didn't I start with Warrior the first time I played? This one made this shit so much easier. Power stance, power stance scimitar is fuck. I should have fucking changed that. Oh well. Ooh. All right, I need to practice parrying. That's why I made this character. Oh, the lunge is real. Too early. Oh. I got caught on post. Let me not do that. Nope. 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 Hi. Ow. You know, the whole name of Farrah Missoula has a lot bigger meaning of why the fuck is this guy here? And why is he so weak? Because <laughs> I fought these before. They're not fun, nor are they weak. I guess he got lost. <laughs> yeah. Lost and is suffering from, like, lupus or some shit. You're just saying that because he's a wolf man. You know, that pun wasn't intentional, but I can I'll I'll take it. Is that what lycanthropy is? Just really advanced <laughs> lupus. <laughs> advanced lupus. 
It just it just struck me that with Garen Gold, now we have two Giga Chimps. Oh yeah. Well, what is? Uh, I don't know. Would you call Raging a Gorilla? Yes. Okay. I mean, he's a weird like half gorilla satyr thing because he's got like horse feet, but true. He's definitely some manner of primate. I, well, yeah, I'd agree with that. Oh. Partial. Ah, uh, I need to figure out this parry stuff. I need to get my wiggle stick back. I don't have. I need to go uh, visit the warps in it. I don't know. Can't talk. The Warmaster. That's what it is. Let me do this because I got. I started with the fucking gold seed, so might as well. Flasks. Okay, flasks. Yeah, I'm thinking the bleed, uh, bleed frost. Eh, maybe just pure frostbite. Just go int mage. Or a spell sword. Because that way I could use the, uh, the one repost that counters with the, with the daggers. Oh, carrion retaliation? Yeah. That is good. But it's also very strong. <laughs> Man. It says it's just an out and out. Hey, is this thing inflicted with frostbite? Well, it's like bleed, except now they take more damage or from everything. Or it's like bleed, but just apply ap applies to a lot more. Because are there enemies that are just flat out immune to frostbite? Because there's a lot of shit that's just immune to bleed. Right. I mean, I don't know for sure. I have to imagine there's probably, like, something in the game. Maybe something in this snowy area that's probably immune to frostbite. Yeah, Crucible Knights being a fucking prime example of stuff that's immune to bleed. That's the other character I have to remake for New Game Plus. Oh, stop it. I'm panic parrying. You should stop that. Yeah. Oh, no. F. I saw one giant dude walking around. I'm like, okay, I'm going to go fight him. And then the giant on the ground got up. <laughs> are you talking about, like, the big golems? or? Yes. Okay. I know where you are. Partial. I need to listen to my own advice. Watch the hand. Damn it. We will get there <laughs> through lots of blood and effort, but we will learn how to parry in this game. Honestly, I think the one thing that throws me off the most is just the amount of attack delay there is. I definitely. I, mean, I really think that was, was certainly an intentional choice that they made. Yeah. No Dark Souls 3 Cestus parries.
beast man down. <laughs> I lost more souls than I gained fighting him. <laughs> Seems about right. I think I lost like 1,300 souls and I got 1,000 for winning. That's definitely a big thing I feel like I would like changed is the distribution of runes gained and upgrade materials found doesn't seem to make any sense. Yeah. Like, they're very stingy early on, and then by the time you're, like, getting up there to the last boss, it's like, yeah, here's 500,000 souls, go have fun. Right, and but as a result, it kind of makes the early game feel really shitty. Yeah, I agree. You're struggling to get any upgrade materials or enough runes to level. Yeah, but it's also just the sheer amount of, like, bad generic enemies there are, which give... Let me just check. Like, I just killed a peasant. He gives me 19. What monsters give 19 in any other Souls game? <laughs> right. But granted, there are a lot of them. Well, that's also a problem. <laughs> True. They did the Dark Souls 2 approach where, all right, we have this we have this area with a few unique enemies to it. What are we going to do to try and, you know, make it a little more challenging? Oh, I know. How about we just make, you know, the area have... 30 of that enemy instead. Ew. Gargoyles, please. Immediately got killed by the first gargoyle I met. Immediately. I'm not surprised. <laughs> I didn't remember what's in here. Like, I've done this place so many fucking times. How the hell do I not remember what's in this fucking cave? I can definitely see why Kov chose Cestus. Does this one have the watchdog in it? A lot of them have the watchdog. Yeah, yeah fair enough. Ma, there's this weird fucking cat outside. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, thing is this the one with the watchdog in it doesn't actually narrow it down. <laughs> All right, I'm at the start of the game. It's like one of two dungeons you can go through. wants to say that like the ones that have the word gargoyles in it tend to have the watchdog and then the skeletons have some other bullshit yeah i don't know if that's actually true but you know i never thought of this I'm going to try and take a kukri, throw it down at one of the flame traps, and just see if I can hit it to knock it down. Uh, but you can do that. Yeah, oh, if I could just blind fire better. Or <laughs> just... just you can, like, fire an arrow at it. And yeah, I don't have... I didn't start off a samurai, so I don't get a bow. Kukri's, though. The Kukri's are fucking solid. Ooh, they're angry. Oh, I'm Kukri fucked. Fucking OP in Dark Souls 3, because they were a throwing knife that did bleed and didn't drop off. Yeah. Which is weird, because it's a Kukri. Yes. The slippery boomerang. Correct. <laughs> what is it, Aogre Kale? Oh, no. Right, that, that's what you're not hearing. You, your character actually screams A.O. Gracale before they throw it, so it's always going to hit the mark. Oh, God. I'm having a bad time. Ugh. These things are mean. 
I don't want to play anymore. Ow. They also do way too much bleed for their own good. Leave me alone. <laughs> Oh, they can climb ladders. They got arms and legs, don't they? Yeah, but I don't know. They're derpy. <laughs> Fuck, how did they get back up there? Or are those the ones I left up there? I good? Can I go up the fucking ladder now? I can do Fia's quest line for black knives, too. Oh yeah, I found an Evergel that had apparently the Black Knife leader. Oh, you cockmonger. That was entirely my fault, but I'm going to blame them for it. Well, yeah, that's how these games work. About to lose another thousand souls, let's go. Summon signal showed up. That means something bad's going to be over here. <laughs> yeah, it's like the. That's how you know you're entering a bad zone. You see the shrine of Merka or whatever the hell that's called, and then you see like the summon sign turn on. It's like, oh boy, things are about Blood to go flesh. tits up. Oh, yeah, things are about to go tits up fast. Oh, the fucking. I attacked the uh, the stone flamethrowers and they stayed down after I died. Hm. Yeah, they seem to have like a weird timer. Uh, they've been down for a while. <laughs> I know, but like it. So Desert and I were going through one of these places uh, last night where it had the flamethrower, but it's actually a frost thrower, which is significantly worse, I must say. But it would stay down. But then, like, it would keep trying to get back up while we are in the same room that it was in fighting an enemy. Yeah. But again, it would it stayed down while we got back to it. So there seems to be something more than just, like, down for X amount of time. I think it, like, I think it is actually dynamic depending on what's in the room or what you're doing. Right. So I guess if there's a hostile in it, they're considered reactivating it. Stop running away and throw daggers. Come here. Let me slap you. What the hell is this? Oh, I know what this is. God damn it. Imminent realization. The fucking singing snails and fuck shit. Oh. The one thing I should also give a try is the jellyfish. Like, a lot of people swear by it. I, like, like it's, it's no mimic, but... I don't know if that's just a meme or if people are actually saying that. <laughs> I mean, it does poison. That is true, but <laughs> it's also made of paper. It's a jellyfish. Right, apparently it's less than paper. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it is a ranged attack that does poison, so. Yeah. Let's be better. Let's be, let's be honest. It's, fuck, that, eh. Let's be honest, it's better than the noble. Well, yes, but that, that's not saying much. Who's our other ranged option? Who does fuck all? Yeah, as far as early ashes, I guess the jellyfish probably is pretty good for just being able to be a ranged yeah. artillery. You know what I want to fucking summon? The the pest. The centipede dudes who do the fucking hailfire crap. You can get one of those. Can you? Yeah. 
I don't know where, but I know you can. Because that thing seems like it would just fuck shit up. Oh, wow. <laughs> you can carry these. Maybe not like the ground stomp, but like the swings that it has. Ah, oh, yeah. I don't know. Oh. It is a one-handed sword. Yeah. Sort of. Well, you can pair it even like a lot of two-handed attacks in this game. It's just more the animations are just kind of jank. Uh, it's at least my excuse. Like, it, it's kind of hard to tell what it's doing. And I know you can parry it. I have done it before, but it's kind of hard to parry as well. No, it, it's wind-ups and, like, lead-ins for a lot of its attacks are just weird. Yeah, like, that's just... It's kind of too fast. I might have to actually do the, uh... Snake snail. Ooh. Man, <laughs> they have the roll catch. Everything does. How this game works. Nope. That was very close. <laughs> uh, speaking of double sorcerer. Guess what I just got? Um, so we're deploying BitLocker at work tomorrow f to a few laptops. This is going to be a fucking disaster. Are you familiar with what BitLocker is? Nope. So it's a program that's designed to encrypt hard drives whenever you type in uh, passwords like wrong. <laughs> and we have some frequent flyers when it comes to passwords. I see. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've known the name of that until now, but I've definitely heard of people at certain jobs being having a particularly visceral reaction to accidentally fucking up their password and then having to go through like 18 different steps just to get back into their account. Yeah. Start all the way from the beginning? That's shitty. It's Star Souls. Huh. Oh. Well, that's a bummer. I went to run back through where I thought I had gone before, and apparently there's just a death pit.
Oh my god. Just oh, I'm perfect gonna... way to die. Oh. Why won't you trip? You know, instead of trying to go down in the dragon area, what I really should be going through is the uh, the first mining pit. See if I can get as many uh, smithing stones as possible. Then skip around uh, Margaret. Get to the hold and go from there. I feel like that would be the most <laughs> most beneficial route. Please. Every time I see a turtle, I see like four or five fucking summon signs or signs around it. It say all say dog. Yep. Could this be a dog? Raise the dog. At least Reddit's not filled with the uh, intensive amount of butt slam <laughs> on to, like weird objects anymore. I cannot see. It is several dark in here. You were really fucking me at the beginning of that fight. You came through. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, fuck. Is this the double fight? I don't know if I want to go in here. Oh, there's a summon. Oh shit. Oh my god, fuck off. Ow. Oh, he's 
jiggling. Come master jiggle. I've decided that the god skin guys are uh, wiggles and jiggles. So. Ooh. Oh, god damn it. One. Oh my god, there is! Oh my god, old this man fucking carries you through this shit. Bless you? Wow, this fucking summon mates this fight way better. <laughs> yeah, he he can solo this fight. Yeah, I had, I didn't see him the first time I did this. I fucking suffered. Cause that's oh, not an easy fight. No, no, it's not. Uh, the God Squint, Godskin Swaddling Cloth is the Pontifring that gives you HP on successive hits. Oh, what the hell is swaddling me? Uh, it's like the, it's like putting a baby in a little baby girl. Oh, okay. You swaddle them. Hmm. This might actually be pretty good with my claw weapon, since I already have the regen spell too. Depends on how many successive attacks it takes to get that back and how much it is. What are you talking? Is it like the FP on kill? Is that what it was? Sorry, I like zoned out for a second. Successive attacks restore HP. Um, it's a regen in Dark Souls, which usually means it's bad. But maybe with the right build, it could work. I mean, regen in Dark Souls is usually good, if we're, at least while running around. Yeah, you have a point. It might be better here, but I, I don't know. But the the Pontiff Ring in Dark Souls 3 was actually pretty decent if you had the right setup for it that could, like, proc it effectively. Yeah, but didn't the Pontiff Ring have a cooldown on it? No. No? What am I thinking of? It, it just changed, depending on the weapon you're using, it changed how many attacks you needed to get it going. Ah. Like, slower weapons would only take maybe two hits, whereas faster weapons might take four Gotcha. And then there was like some weird outliers where like say a weapon would have a spinning attack as part of its like weapon skill but then the spinning attack didn't actually count for successive hits so it still made it shit. Gotcha. Also got a new God Slayer skill. Oh, I for I forgot I got the belly bump. Oh. <laughs> Thrust out belly with gusto to produce a shockwave that knocks back nearby foes. Charging enhances potency, knocking enemies into the air. Neat. Black Flame Ritual summons a circle of black flame pillars around the caster. Charging increases the size of the circle. So now I have both the moves that Jiggly Man does. Jiggly Man. Yeah, but you don't have his rollout attack. <laughs> no. Though there is that one weapon that gives you that, isn't there? Is there? Or the one that makes you roll like a goat, or like the weapon skill. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, speaking of that attack, though, found out that the, like, proper boss fight version of him, the one in the volcanic area. Yeah. If you just get behind a pillar, he'll just sit there and roll into it. Oh. Until he's done. <laughs> yeah, you just block him. Or you just break his AI, that also works.
Yeah, I've heard that's a thing you can do as well, but... Yeah. You know, as far as a quick solution to him rolling around like an asshole. <laughs> you just get behind one of the many pillars in that room, and he just kind of sits there and keeps going. He goes for a long time, uh, though. Yeah. I say. Like, you try like to block that, you're just going to have a bad time. Oh, absolutely. It's a fucking snowstorm now. Oh, no, I... I'm not dealing with this shit. I'm going to sit down at the grace, pass time until the next day. Do I not have... I thought I got the whetstone blade. Do I not? Pretty sure I did. I did. I got the whetstone knife, but I didn't get the blade that went with it. I thought they came together with one. Like, I thought you get the whetstone knife, and then it has a... Am I misremembering that? I feel like I am. Hey, buddy. Whetstone knife is just what it is. Well, yeah, I know that, but I thought it was... I thought you found it with something, is what I meant. Fucking dog, please. So like going into my inventory, all I see is the the whetstone blade. All right, that's enough out of you. Carrying these spear guys sucks. It's always sucked. Now, like, I could have sworn when you found the whetstone blade. Like, I know it's an item by itself. I thought it came with a blade with it, where you could do at least, like, quality or strength or something like that. Or, like, it was, like, strength or dex. And I think the iron one gave you quality or some shit like that. I think that's just part of its default, like, option. Yeah, but I didn't see it when I was sitting at a bonfire. Which is why I was a little bit confused. Third playthrough still doesn't know how the game fucking works. Also, yeah. I know that that depends on... It depends on the art of war that you're putting on something. Oh, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> I can't just change it. I need to actually change the art of war for it. Like, certain art of wars can give it the aspect of heavy or keen. Yeah. Well, yeah. No, I'm, I was being an idiot. It was a... Uh, I was doing things out of order. I forgot I needed actually to equip one of those <laughs> Ashes of War for that to take effect. Alright, there's a snowstorm, so I can't fucking see anything. And Bob is summonable, so I have to assume something really, really awful is about to show up that I won't be able to actually see. Yeah, remember that invisible lightning boss from Dark Souls 3? Or 2, sorry. Uh, or lightning no. they're fucking invisible lion oh yeah fucking <laughs> no fun and engaging I, I don't want to be fun or engaged I just want to move forward Oop. So I think I remember what this is, and it's... I want to say it's some manner of ice dragon. What's down here? Oh, it's this dude. Yep. There he is. 
Well, there's the health bar. I can't actually see him. That frostbite did a lot of damage. Frostbite did a lot of damage? No. Say it did a lot of damage. I mean, it did 80% of my health. That sounds about right. is being what they are in this game wouldn't bother me as much if it weren't for the fact that they don't seem to be consistent in that depending on what it is that inflicts you with whatever status it will do wildly different amounts of damage i'm just used to having bleed on my screen at this point There's snow lobsters and dragons fly. Get out of this frozen hell. What is my intelligence on this character now? <laughs> Before I make this commitment, my intelligence is 10. That's eh, acceptable. Hey, lady. Spells, please. I am Salome, sorceress by my lady. Oh, I dare say you're pretty wise to not nurture your divine nature. Take a bit of luck, but one that I would just rather revive you still. How is one an apostate witch? <laughs> Very well, but I as you anticipate. Why do you all wear stupid hats? They give you intelligence. Do they? Yes. Oh, cool. They give you intelligence at the cost of some of your health. Oh. That's what I need to find out is what's the maximum amount of health you can lose from equipment, including like the hug. <laughs> What do I want to get for food? Uh, something edible, likely. Yeah, that's probably a good place to start. I, I realize that is, in some form or fashion, not exactly advice for you, given your propensity for the type of food you like. Any. <laughs> yeah, but the stuff I don't like is I always find, at least I consider it kind of weird. Like, the stuff I don't like is what I would consider fairly normal foods. Like, I don't like bell peppers. Every other pepper's fine. I don't like bell peppers. <laughs> yeah, that is strange. Oh, it's, well, let me actually... I guess it's better to phrase that. I don't like the taste of bell peppers because they are just taste like pepper. And I don't like the taste of any pepper, but other peppers are spicy. And I like spicy foods. Right. You you like the pain. Yes. You don't actually like the food. No. But I'm always like I always like trying new things. I just don't know what I'm feeling. See, the Tyranno dogs have made a comeback in this area. Oh, is this an ever jail? It is an ever jail. Lord Contenders ever jail.
I'm looking at a diner's menu and I found something called avocado Benedict because apparently egg Benedict is like, oh, well, I guess it's the vegan option. <laughs> Just, I can't have, that doesn't sound like a good combination. Avocado and holiday sauce. It seems like, it kind of just seems like it's going to give you diarrhea. <laughs> Like, not because it's going to, like, make you sick. It's just there's so little substance to that that you, there's nothing for your body to, like, pull from it. Yeah. You're going to need to add some fiber to that. Oh, yeah. They offer a trick of, triple decker Reuben. Oh, my God. That's a yeah, lot of... I don't know, man. That's a lot of sauerkraut. Like, Ellie won't fucking come near me after I eat that. I'm not hearing you say anything that is implying that you're not going to get this. This is true. is the number one most important thing right now. Oh, they have gyros. We're going with that. Fucking love gyros. I see you also pronounce it correctly. Yeah, I think the, cor the correct pronunciation is euro, but... Eh. I don't care. Yeah. No, it's gyros. Like, it's like gyros, like the thing inside the airplanes that make them go straight. Yes. <laughs> it's my same problem I have when people try to correct you when you say pho instead of pho, which is, I'm already eating it. What the fuck do you want from me? Yeah. There isn't a Vietnamese guy going, it's pronounced chili dog. Quit, quit being racially insensitive. It's not July. <laughs> July dog. Oh my god! Uh, so I played a lot of Warhammer, and one of the factions I play, I'm still convinced it's pronounced Skitarii because it's modeled after the Roman legion and spelled the same way as like as Secutar as Secutarii are. <laughs> it has the double I at the end. But like, no, it's Skatari. It's like, no, it's Skatari. -i. <laughs> I don't care how Games Workshop pronounces it. They're doing it wrong. It's the whole yeah, GIF. It's, it's the whole GIF Jeff thing, which is why I settled with GIF. Just to make everyone annoyed. Yeah, just to bother everybody. I feel like that would like be written on your tombstone. <laughs> GIF. <laughs> no, bother everyone. <laughs> But yeah, you can't go wrong with gyros. I don't know if I've ever actually had one. If I did, I had no idea what it was. Uh, as far I as think... I'm concerned, a sandwich is a sandwich. Well, so it's a... Well, it's usually lamb on pita with, like, your, like, lettuce, tomato, onion affair. But it, the thing that makes a gyro gyro is that is the tzatziki sauce, which is like a type of cucumber sauce, which is really good. Right, it's a sandwich. Yeah. It's more, I would actually yeah, argue that, um, I, I would argue that it might be closer to a taco. <laughs> <laughs> now, if we want to go down this path of argument of whether or not a taco is considered a sandwich, I'm not so sure, but. No, that, no, we're not doing this. <laughs> it's like saying a hot dog is just a yeehaw taco. <laughs> <laughs> a hot dog is an open face sandwich.
There's basically nothing over there except for a big fucking frozen lake to fight the shitty fucking dragon. I think it wraps around to something. Uh, if it does, I can't see it because I just got the map for that side of the region. Yeah. Like, there's the cave that I went through where you do the the godskin fight. Mm -hmm. There's a church on the southern part of it, and then an Everjail. But basically, all this region is is just the fucking big ass lake. Yeah. I don't know why, but whenever you accidentally jump in front of an NPC, they get like the hostile message. <laughs> It's like, oh, no, no, don't, like, you can't hurt me or stuff like that for whatever reason. Jumping is like an auto-stagger when you land on shit. Yeah. So it's like, it counts as an attack. Oh, that reminds me. That Poise video I watched, uh, there's a very interesting uh, fact I learned. You know the Torch Hollows in Dark Souls 1? Yeah. That are notoriously shitty and will break your posture no matter what you do? Yeah. It's because they cheat. It's because they cheat? Okay. Yes, that attack specifically, no matter how much poise you have, no matter what your other stances are, or any other stats, they will stagger you. That's just a, a That's quality just... of the attack. Neat. The only way it won't do that is if you have Iron Flesh on or the buff from Havel's Great Shield. Gotcha. Because it'll deflect off of you. Yeah, otherwise they are just built to be shitty and annoying. As the kids say, they're just built different. I forgot this place is artillery. How am I still aggroed?
Welcome back. Uh, so I just noticed, there's something cropping up at the bottom of your screen. What do you mean? Like, on your screen, there's, I think, like, a window creeping in from the bottom. The bottom? Oh, no, that's uh, underneath my avatar? Yes. Oh, no, that's, uh... So, I actually... One second, let me not face this guy in case I accidentally attack him. So, the way that works is, is like, it's most recent subscriber and, like, follows or something like that. Let me see. Oh, okay. I just saw it at a glance. I'm like, what the hell is that? Yeah, no, it's because I have fancy transitions now. However, I do notice some black screen on the right there. There we go. <laughs> Just that. But yeah, no, I can do uh, transitions now. Yeah, I just... My my brain just triggered from, like, the last time there was some window sneaking yeah. in from the side, so I'm like, what the hell is that? I really need to get these first few levels to get to 20 in bit before I do anything else. Oh, those are bears. Hello. The verticality is definitely really good in these maps, but man, sometimes it is a pain in the ass to try and find your way down from a place. Because it's either you can make the fall or you sure as shit can't. Yeah, the distinction between falling somewhere and taking some damage and falling somewhere and outright dying is very thin. Yeah. Which is why I have on my, you know, like, your secondary item menu thing when you hold triangle. I have yeah. uh, rainbow stones on there because they function the same as prism stones where if you drop it off a cliff and it lands and just makes a little light on the ground, then it's safe. If it shatters, then it'll kill you. Yeah. Which so far has been very useful.
Sorry, excuse me. Oh, my order got canceled. What the fuck? Blame. Uh, yeah, I've seen a few of those. I feel like a faith sorcery is, you know, an incantation. Oh, I've, I've aggroed the large bear. The giga bear. I feel like there's that no like there's no level where you can fuck with those things. If there is, I haven't gotten to it yet. <laughs> yeah. The rune bears, much like Wu Tang, are not. Nothing <laughs> yeah. Man, I'm an idiot. I also just learned another thing that I thought I just, for whatever reason, didn't ever realize. The talisman pouches. I didn't realize you started with one. I thought when you beat fucking Morgoth, you just got two. Oh, you have one by default. Oh, thank God I found this gold-tinged bear shit. This goes for a high price on the black market. I just saw someone's phantom just come falling out of the sky in front of me and die. <laughs> <laughs> he just pancaked on the ground. <laughs> I think one of my favorites was is that there was a, someone did a comparison for the SpongeBob meme of like Patrick like beating himself up for SpongeBob to get in the like Weenie Hut Juniors or whatever. Yeah. And it was just the, uh, I forget who the boss they were fighting, but it was one that had to pick up and slam repeatedly move. Oh. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, I think I'm going to just take a different, I'm just got to go a different way.
I'm still trying to figure out if there's another way into Nokron without killing uh, Radon. Because if I can just skip that boss fight, I'll be very happy. <laughs> I, I feel like if there is a means of doing that, it's going to be some, like, really bass -ack words like jank platforming or just a outright wrong warp or something. Maybe. Because there is a point in the Seofra River well where you can see Nocron. Oh yeah, and you can also see the Bloody Palace too. Yeah, like you could see like an enemy at the end of like that broken up bridge and so on. So it's there. Yeah. But considering you have to get up to it, I feel like yeah. that's going to be the biggest hurdle. Yeah, up is always hard in Dark Souls. Down is easy. Until it's not. Fuck off, bat. See another way up into this place. I know there's more to it. I can see it. Oh, there we go. I don't want to fight the Knight's Cavalry if they hit a little bit too hard. And I do absolutely no fucking damage. Space shield guy. Ah, it hurts. Here's the real question. How the hell do you never get the Knight's Cavalry Halberd or the, uh... <laughs> or their armor, I should say. More. Uh, I do know there's a way to get their armor. Is there? Yes. What would that and, be? Uh, fighting two of them at once. Oh. Because, of course, there's a specific encounter you can do where there's two of them and you get their armor. That sounds like something I would want to just kind of cheese as best as possible. Right. Or, you know, summon Bob. Yeah. If possible. I would assume so. Giant's prayer book. 
giant incantation. <laughs> they're not actually from the giants, they're just big. Yes. <laughs> I want them all to just be the same type of incantation I had before, but then at the end it says, but big. <laughs> All right, first one down. Slightly more popular than the alternative version, which was X, but louder. <laughs> uh, all right, so that knocked out that one. Ooh, and I got lucky. It was during the, um, the evening effect that gives you bonus souls or runes. Uh, whenever you see the golden leaves falling, that gives you a bonus to the amount of runes you collect. Uh, it is oh, a I unique see. weather event. I, that's a limit break for videos that's going to happen. What is the maximum amount of runes you can get from a single enemy? Um, honestly, man, I wouldn't be surprised if it was upwards of a million. Well, because you've got, like... I'm pretty sure there's a talisman that is, like, functionally the Silver Serpent ring. There's a hat. There's, there's a hat. There's the, like, Silver Pickled Crow Foot or whatever it is. Which I'm pretty I... sure is also absorption. Oh, yeah. I think that's item find, isn't it? There's there's the silver and the gold one. What do they do? I, know I, I, think, silver's, I think silver's item find, and gold is souls. Yeah, gold is the rune one. So you pop that... Uh, you wait for the golden leaves, and then you also fight an enemy with glowing eyes. Yeah. And then you find whatever enemy... Okay, so whatever that bird is that you shoot off the cliff... <laughs> wait for that to have golden eyes in the evening while popping all that shit. I found a better one than that. I think I showed it to you. Oh, did you? I know you showed it to somebody. There's nothing in here. Once I finish doing this dungeon, I'll show you what I'm talking about. It's that using that stupid sword I had. The one that just says that wave of gold. Yeah, it turns out if yeah. you're in, like literally the same spot, turn a little bit to the right and just use that down that long path of enemies it gives you far more souls than the bird does. I think like literally twice as many. Oh, right. I can't fucking do any damage to these guys. Oh, I needed two hand weapons to fucking deal damage to these assholes. I forgot. Just the trolls, but yetis now. 
It's like the look of indignation. These guys all give me when I run past them and just steal all the <laughs> ore they've been working on mining. I got very upset about it. <laughs> Fucking manager comes in. All right, good job, fellas. Just gonna take all that. <laughs> oh God, rats. Why giant finger spider? Why here? Why now? Oh man, I'm gonna get fucked by this. <laughs> yep, I got pinned between a rat and a miner. As in someone who ex excavates ore, not a uh, person under the age of 18. Just in case I had to clarify you really that. You need to clarify. Are you that. sure? I, I felt like I needed to. The fact that you felt the need to clarify <laughs> that almost made me suspicious. <laughs> He said he didn't do it, but not that he said it. I kind of think he did. <laughs> yeah, Pally made the discovery of that it's not two hands fused together, it's three. Yeah, there's there's more than just two hands worth of fingers there. Yeah. I didn't stop the count. Even with all the different fingers that they have, they still have the time to flip you the bird. <laughs> they have so many more options, but that one's still the most pronounced. But they can't give a thumbs up. No, they notably do not have a thumb. <laughs> Are you going to try to farm it for the weapon? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm ready to have the finger. Although, just now thinking about it, given this game's obsession with fingers, I guess it makes sense that that would be a weapon. Yeah. The bad, like, the good faction, well, good air quotes, is called the two fingers. The bad faction is called the three fingers. And together, they have a hand. to see that like the three fingers is specifically in the form of a shocker <laughs> gets the message across ow oh no and there's just all kinds of shitty enemies over here we have the tyranno dogs we've got the hand spiders we've got yeti trolls you throw in some species of bird Oh, there, there are plenty of asshole birds in this game, remember? Oh, I know, just specifically in this area. Oh. <laughs> I'm in... I'm in the forest of fallen giants, I guess. Ah. There's a bunch of, like, the giant corpses. Hello. You know, if there's a giant finger weapon, there really needs to be, like, a baby finger weapon that's just, like, a claw version. <laughs> like, the thing that they added in Cinders for Dark Souls 3. Yeah. It's just, like, the, the hands of sin faces, but on your hand. Ow! Fuck.
Oh, uh, I found whatever winged species is around here, but apparently the trolls hate it too. <laughs> oh my sweet lord! That's the biggest finger spider ever! It's bigger than one of the trolls! Wow, I don't think I've ran into that <laughs> one. Oh my fucking... I hate it. You are awful. Why does that have so much range? I realized the last giant fight was too easy, so they gave this dude massive fucking AoE. of the giant hand monstrosity. Not away from it. When it dies, it does like a giant version of, you know, like the flip upside down and skitter. Oh. It's very unsettling. Yeah. That doesn't also, sound very good. It did not give me the finger. Sad face. I still like the finger special attack as the flick. Yeah. That, like, it writes itself, really. But yeah. I'm still happy it's there. I saw a dog just get blown the fuck up by a some sort of blue explosion, and it turns out there's a giant throwing exploding barrels. Oh, neat. Um? What are you even getting, bud? I'm really confused. Wait, where's the shack? Is my game gonna crash again? Did I not go far enough? The... What? The girl who gives you the jellyfish shack is missing. Maybe I didn't go is far it? enough. I, I, it's not here. Maybe I didn't go far enough up. I was pretty sure... Oh, no, that was... Uh, I didn't go far enough, because the point of grace is up there. For whatever reason, I thought the tree was the uh, point of grace. Yeah, there we go. Found it. 
I was really confused for a second there. I'm like, ah. Uh. Something is not adding up here. crestfallen woman's like I, I don't want to get my head cut off it's like it seems like a poor decision and she's like i don't feel <laughs> it's just like no i feel that that's a perfectly normal set of opinions to have about that matter yeah kind of Be careful not to attract the attention of the fucking bell bearing knight in this place. Uh, have you. I don't think you've even gone to the round table yet, have you? No, not yet. Oh, uh, so they don't trigger until you buy something from the woman who takes the bell bearer. Oh, okay. <clears throat> uh, as it happened, Pally was trying to get them to spawn and they weren't because he'd never bought anything from them Okay, I got Perry. Let me actually give this a test here. The Yetis are feuding with the Tyranno Ravens. <laughs> Fascinating. <laughs> it's a very long-lasting feud. 
Yes, it is. And they're barely doing any damage to each other. Yes, I guess not technically not yet. me off my horse. I know what that means. Plus 11 flask, all right. Oof. All right, let's go to the round table. Remember the first time I did this, I was fucking terrified because I found this way by accident originally. What's up? Which area is this? This is uh, the Morgats, uh, Margaret Skip. Oh, right.
Electric War Trolls Roar. Shockwave blows back. Oh, okay. You get the sonic boom. Yeah. Stuff I need. Forgive me, to determine if you have a thin tone where down your various branches and scattering effects. Very well at my hand. Aggro to me. Oh, it's a fucking bird. Sweet home. My memory resumes the wild whenever you are away from Sherlock. They did a great job of the voice acting in this game again. Yeah. Back over there, Master. Look up. Find the peace. Step Fire giants using a giant manhole cover. Yeah. <laughs> Took me for dead. I rested at the fucking. God damn it. Summon spirit jellyfish. <laughs>
Oh, you can also purchase the Spirit Calling Bell from um, the uh, Twin Finger Maidens. Or the Twin Maiden Husks. I'll be right back. I'm back. Welcome back. Uh, giant man entered phase two. Yes. <laughs> pretty gruesome, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's like that's pretty fucking intense. I wish I could craft kukris.
elbow drop. <laughs> Oh, uh, that reminds me. How far have you guys gone with WrestleMania? Uh, we're currently on Survivor Series 1990. Gotcha. Uh, so I'm making a pack of like spicy like yakisoba. I opened the uh, the spice pack a little bit too aggressively and got a nice fucking nose full of it. No. Yeah. So I'm like, I got the sniffles now. <laughs> yeah, I have a type of noodle that I get that are like particularly spicy noodle like mm -hmm. and the best way i have described it to people when it's like oh are they any good it's that when you hit the step where you put the powder into the water the water becomes caustic <laughs> yeah because it turns red and it sizzles and it's at that point you wouldn't necessarily assume it's meant for human consumption <laughs> no this is like it's all right like <laughs> homemade bear repellent it's meant for burning warts off of horse hooves. <laughs> yeah. And now you mix it in with your car's uh, like battery acid to improve its performance. I have made a fucking mistake. I tried to fight three dogs at once. Never in the history of the entire series has that ever been a good decision. Yeah. Mm. Oh, these people are alive. Do I have anything that can fix that? Nope. Good luck. Uh, try thrust butthole and all that. Well, sucks to be you. Anyway, later. <laughs> yeah. Wait, those look like penguins. Why can they fly? Great question. Thank you for asking. All right. My food's done. I'll be right back. Oh, fuck. I need to schedule an eye appointment. Er. Okay, I'm back. Oh, 
The giant's weapon is a strike whip. Oh, the braid? Interesting. It's technically a blunt weapon. I actually, I feel like all the maces would be, or flails. Or no, you said it was a whip, sorry. Yes, it specifically says whip. Okay. Um, what are the other whips then? Just about to check. Because I feel like strike doesn't seem that far off because they're definitely not slashing and they're sure shit not piercing. I imagine one of them is slashing based on what I've seen it do. Yeah, there's one that's made out of like metal. Ah, even the bleed one is actually a strike weapon. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if they're actually any good. I think I'm going to make this one just to find out. I've been needing to make a strike weapon, but I haven't really found anything that I wanted to use yet. Yeah, whips are always, like, just weird weapons. So that's why I've always been like, eh. stones to upgrade this most of the way. L2 definitely covers a lot of ground. Oh. I'm, yeah, assuming like it, you, I'm assuming it has something to do with fire. Yes. it. The whole thing gets shrouded in fire, and it starts... It, you basically just start whipping it around your head in a big circle. Ah. <laughs> I mean, crowd clearing is always good. Yeah. You know what? Because I know where one of these is. I'm going to dupe this thing and power stance it. The weapon? Yeah. The 
giant sprayed? Or yep. how do you dupe weapons? You dupe the remembrance and then you make it. Oh, weapon. yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Sorry. Same thing. I'm like, what? How the fuck do you do that? <laughs> I mean, I, I imagine there probably is some sort of item dupe glitching you can do, but... Like it gives me a sacrificial twig. <laughs> just like you know, just in case you get yourself go out and get yourself killed. He gives it to you, and he just whispers, "Take the hint." Yeah. <laughs> There's a cliff. Here's a branch. Have fun. My new. I got a peppercorn. Eh. <coughs> My noodles are too hot to eat. Temperature wise, not spicy wise. They're too hot to eat, which means I have to eat them faster. Uh, no. Oh, you can't do that? Aw, oh, bummer. What happened? I duped the remembrance, but you can't make the weapon again. You can just make the other thing it makes. Aw, oh, that's a shame. You might be able yeah. to do it in New Game Plus. That's true enough. But... Or I could go drop you one from my other character. Uh, well, no, you can't. Can I not? I'm on PS4. Oh, yeah. Well, I could make the pyromancy. I feel like I might just want the souls, though. What? Oh. I wondered why I had a glowing aura on me for a second. I forgot I drank my physic flask. So that, actually, that's something I wonder. If you go to New Game Plus One, do you get another physic flask? Does it take it away from you when you go to New Game? I don't think so. I think you keep all that. It'll either give you another one, or it'll get to the location where it's supposed to be, and it just won't be there. Yeah. Like, I know Physic Flasks are supposed to be special, so...
moveset they gave rats is fucking awful. <laughs> Jumped down to a pull of four of them and nearly died. Yeah, that's, uh, that's how they operate. Grab a drink real fast, we'll be right back. And I'm back. I don't know if I said that already or not. You did not. Okay. Oh my god, I can see the boss from over here for the uh, Castle Morn. I swear it <laughs> definitely cheese him from here. I wonder. I mean, if you can see him, you can hit it. Unless it's in like True. an invulnerability thing. Right, I, it's more like, is he active at that point? Even if he's not. It's like you could... You can do that with Manus. Yeah. Just had to get, like, the right position. I think you needed yeah. certain equipment. The brute force method of learning how to parry. No progression until you do. As Miyazaki intended. Oh. 
Got a partial. See the partial? A partial, I don't know as, as if it's too early or too late. Allegedly won't kill me. Is there actually something to do in the giant crucible, or is it? Uh, yes. So, at the, uh, did you get the uh, point of grace on it? Yeah, at the far end. Yeah, you should see an option to talk to your uh, companion. Do you see it? Should be a chat option while you sit there. She has scars on her hand. She do.
You like a cantaloupe. Yeah, but I'm here to learn how to parry. Yep. It's just, I like that that was the last blow. Just, yeah. Boom. Very deliberate. Yes. I don't know if I can parry that. Nope. I really don't think I can. I think it's just too strong of a hit. Oh dear. I'm in Tornado Alley. I have heard <coughs> not great things. I like doing the partials on that, it's fun. Nope. I think I need to parry sooner is my issue. So were you able to progress? Yes. Now I'm in Tornado Alley. Okay. That area is kind of difficult, so just be careful. So I've heard. Luckily, the Great Spear staggers the weird beast men in one draw on every hit. Lightning Spirit Neil is going to definitely be one of my best friends. Oh, yeah. Actually, I wonder if dragons are still weak to lightning in this game. I'm going to go ahead and say no, because apparently lightning is associated with dragons now. Fair enough. I know that only because of a summon you can get named, like, Ancient Dragon Knight Kristoff, who, they in his description, says something about how channels the power of lightning as did the dragons did blah 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 ah so apparently they they flipped the script right Ooh, I'm 
surprised I dodged that. I'm going to parry this man to death if it kills me. <coughs> I do believe that is the idea, yes. Yeah. Which has happened multiple times already. I do like this outfit, though. Maybe not so much a fan of the turban, but the rest of it looks pretty cool. It's going to find something to enjoy. Yeah. All right, great point. Real bullshit begin. Nope. Hmm. Lone item in the middle of a big wide open area? That's a trap. And I can summon Bob? Definitely safe. Yep, there it is. Oh, it's Foul Strax. Good. Good. <laughs> there we go. I didn't beat you the first time. I'm sure this time will be even better. There's also actually a secret boss in that area. Catch. Uh, I'm pretty sure that second swing was going to be a parry, or at least I, it looked like it was going to be, but it missed. <laughs> Which let me get hit by the next two follow-up attacks. <laughs> Not a 
particularly big fan of his swipes that leave lingering lightning, so even if you dodge it, you didn't dodge it. Yeah. Like, lol, no, you didn't really dodge it. You didn't, nope. You didn't think evasive enough pots. I kind of missed the Dark Souls 2 death counter as well. Like, that was a cool thing. Nice. He gave me the wrong smithing stone. 
what he give you? Uh, ancient stepping stones. I need ancient. I get stepping stones. I am not mistaken. Oh, damn it. I'm not getting it. This is my problem with a lot of boss fights. <laughs> it's just like, I'm going for the parries, but I don't have it quite yet. So that makes the boss, I take way more damage than I need to. That's funny. There's a dragon wound grease on that platform you fight him on. Right. Ow. <laughs> I-I don't know how on earth you're gonna, like, get through there, pick it up, and then apply it in the midst of all that, but... Godspeed. Well, I mean... With Dragon Wind, like, you can have Dragon Wind Grease, like, stocked up by then, I would assume. I do. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking that attack can't be parried. I can't tell if you were talking about the guy I was fighting or what you're fighting. What I'm fighting. The fucking, you know, the beast men with the big swords and whatnot. Oh, so the same thing I'm fighting. Effectively, yes. Only this guy had a shield. Oh. Somehow he was more acrobatic than the guy who didn't have one. <laughs> He was using the shield as like a pivot point. Yeah. Oh, so on the uh, note of um, Sunbreak, at least we have a release date. Yes. Three and months. About what I thought. The yeah. end of summer, or at least as close as they can get. Yeah. It, it was June 30th. Yeah, it was... Yeah, June. I mean, yeah, so it's actually sooner than I thought it would be. Yeah. Damn it. I feel like some of these attacks, I'm just... I can't tell if I'm just not parrying them or... They just can't be parried. Right. It'd be nice if there was some means of, like, user feedback to tell you whether or not that was the case, or just, you know, an out out answer in, like, the description of the parry that's like, these are things that you cannot do. Like, if, like, even something simple like eyes glow means you can either have to block this or, like, get out of the way, but you cannot parry it or some shit. Or it's highly, or even if it's eyes glow, it's like, this is something that will break your guard or some shit like that. And that's the same for parry. If it's glowing, you can't do shit about it. I, I, it's one of those things, like, because if you get a partial parry, even on an attack that would be considered a parry, you still lose all of your stamina. Yep. Like, it's still a punishment. So it's like, I don't know what I need to dodge, what I can parry, and what I can parry. 
Like, I'm starting to feel like that one I can't do because that's like a really big, like, two handed attack, but. That's the thing. Like, it used to be that if you two handed a giant weapon, that was uncarryable. Right. That was, like, a rule that was set. That was purely Dark Souls 2, though. I don't think it was in 3. changing the rules so you can't necessarily rely on your legacy knowledge to help you out. Yeah. Like, I feel like we need the Sekiro thing where it's like death flashes above their head for get the fuck out of the way. Um, what was it? Mortal Shell had that, too. Even if it was, like, a talisman, I'd be okay with that. Fucking damn it. But it is just difficult with, uh... And again, I could just be wrong. I could be bad and just not be parrying it. But some of those hits feel pretty good. Something real fast and see it. Where'd you go, fuckface? Yeah, so I knew someone would have a parry only video up. Grace out here, you still have to go through that fucking room? That's awful. Why would you do that? Alright, so it seems like only the howl and jump attack you can't parry. Is there anything that from your untrained eyes, you can tell is like distinctly different from the two of those. No. Good. Well, the hell has like a wind up, but. But everything in this game has a wind up. Well, I mean, it's like he does the hell and then. That's kind of indicative of the. I, I get what you're saying, but it's like. I can only imagine someone trying to give advice like, oh, if they wind it up really big, then you can't parry. It's like, well, yeah. here's the thing. <laughs> yeah, that's totally not a boss arena. All right. Okay. A, a perfectly flat circular area. <laughs> Where the, why are the death dudes here? 
death dudes? The worm head guys. Oh, yeah. They spit death. Be wary of death. It's a legitimate statement you can make about this game. <laughs> I'm going to restart my game real fast because I'm noticing some hitching. And it's kind of fucking me up here because I had a major freeze while I was in the middle of that fight. Just quit out, come back in. Oh, actually, before I do that, let me show you that one thing I was talking about from the soul farm. For how stupid this is. Alright, where is, where is the thing that's going to kill me? Come on. Oh, it's Valstrax again. Cool. <laughs> you don't get to summon Bob. Can we get a fight where we can only summon Bob? Like, we're not even allowed to participate. Only Bob. I would prefer that, to be perfectly <laughs> honest. Because he can buff himself. Yeah. Sorry, are you in the middle of a fight right now? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll see how long this lasts. Okay. I kind of wonder if strike weapons would be better against him. He seems like he's made of stone. That is a valid question.
Holy crap, I got him. Nice. Can you give me anything worthwhile? Sure as fuck aren't. Supposed to be. Oh, so here is the uh, thing I was talking about. I can actually look at what you're doing. All right. Each one of them gives around 2,000 souls, so every time you do it, it's around like 20,000 or so. The phantom right next to you doing it in tandem. Yeah, so <laughs> apparently this is a popular thing that was being shared around. I had no fucking idea. <laughs> I discovered this because I found this greatsword was a uh, was a dex greatsword, and I'm like, oh, it uses faith as well. Let me use this on my build since I have nothing else, and it's from the last boss. We'll do this for science. <laughs> Fucking death scream. There you go. There's some really visceral ones. Yeah, so zero souls. We'll see how much this gives. For the record, you are blocking your Oh, yeah. Relying on you to give me numbers. I will give you numbers. Uh, thirty thousand six hundred sixty. And that's with like no ups, like uh, anything. No rune gear of any kind. Nope. Let me restore my viewing. Time to fucking book it. I imagine I don't even have access to that grace point yet. Uh, you should actually. Or you can get to it. Depends on where it is. Sorry, I have to wait for the eternity that it is for Elden Ring to actually close. Um. There we go. Very risky decision I just made there. I did a repost on one of the worm guys in the middle of one of the death pools. I'm like, I wonder if you're immune to these while you're in the repost. <laughs> Time to find out. Oh my god. So yeah, the way to get to that place that I was at is 
pretty simple. All you have to do is, um, here, one second, I'll have to open up the map. In the Magical Lake area. Oh, Lyernia? Yeah, Lyernia. There is a bonfire by the Rose Church, I think is what it's called. And there's an NPC out there. If you talk to him and go through his stuff, he'll uh, give you an invasion item. All you have to do is invade. He'll give you five invasion fingers. You have to use three of them. You don't even have to invade. You can basically literally invade and then walk out. Oh, he's the... Yeah, he's the... Guy who costume. You, yeah. At the beginning of the game. Yeah. So you use those three invasion items... You talk to him again, and then he gives you that. He gives you a rag, which you have to soak in the blood of a uh, a finger maiden. You take that back to the finger maiden that's dead in your starting zone, which you can get back to via the uh, enchanted keys. Are you familiar with those? At the belfry. Uh, I know what those are. I've only found one. So there's. Did you find the one at the belfry or? No, somewhere else. So there's one at the Belfry for free. So the locations that I know of for them is one at the Belfry, one in the Magic City, and one at, um, in Nochrin. So yeah, you get that thing soaking in blood and then uh, you go back and talk to him. And then he gives you a rune that'll teleport you to that location, roughly. Ooh, that hurt. But yeah, and that's how you get to the bird farm, and that's how you get to the uh, other shit as well. But yeah, man, the hardest part about learning parrying here is I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Again, having some manner of feedback, letting you know this was early, this was late. Yeah. Would go a long way in being able to properly understand that yeah like an early like to me like an early parry shouldn't i like i don't even know if you i as i said i can't tell if i'm going early or late i don't know which one's giving me partials i don't know if only after gives you partials i don't know like i yeah like will an early parry just or if i parry too late will i just get hit by the attack and it doesn't do anything or if i'm parrying too early that I'm getting a partial. Like, that's what I really don't know.
Like, that was a good example. I got two, like, off parries back to back, but I just don't know what I did wrong. Did I parry too soon? Did I parry too late? I feel like I'm parrying too soon, honestly. The thing that everyone's saying is like, oh yeah, the parries are so close to Dark Souls 3. Dark Souls 3, I can parry my way through the entire game fucking blindfolded. Deathed. Oh no. I'm surprised Bob can be deathed. We were fighting the big worm face guy and he suddenly went from full to dead, so that's what I assume happened. Hmm. That was kind of weird, I guess. I have to say, so far, I'm not actually hating this area. Ah, uh, I did, because I not much there bleeds. Sure. I, I totally see why it would be a shitty area, but I guess I happen to have the tools to make it less so. Also having two, likely three, Possibly more of those big fucking Wildstrax dragons definitely isn't something I would have chosen. I'm parrying too early. Okay. That's my issue. I'm parrying too early. By like a fraction of a second, but it is still early. Gotta count your frames. Yeah, so the parry on these weapons is about nine frames. From what people have, from what people have posted about like data and stuff like that. And it has about a five frame start, uh, like a three or four frame startup, I think. Let me see. Man, I fucking hate Game Rant. Later, dude.
I'm actually going to try something, because maybe just using the weapons what's giving me issues here. Let me try pairing with the shield. Yeah, no, I'm just running the exact same issue. thing you were talking about earlier about seeing someone slam their head against something 70 times and how you don't have the patience for that yeah how's that working out i mean don't get me wrong i'd much rather be somewhere else oh i'm i'm sure it's just it's funny that that came up today well, uh, so i'm doing more. this this is more like i went into the intention of this like because i could beat this boss if i'm actually doing it but i'm trying to get parry timing down <laughs> Like, I'm here on a mission specifically for this. Yeah, so it just seems easier with the shield. So I guess it must be the... Uh... It makes sense to me, he said. I know all the weapons were slightly different, but yeah. given that a shield is sort of built for that role, or at least you can. Yeah, because yeah, the, the thing that I assumed was is that all parry framing was roughly the same, which was, let's be honest, a really stupid thought because it's tied to a weapon art. So because I thought it's tied to weapon art, it would be the same because it's tied to everything. Oh, that's not good. Damn it. But it's like, if I want to go beat this guy, I can absolutely just do that. He's not that hard of a boss. Right. He just has the most, one of the more varied movesets that I know of. So I'm just sitting here like, all right, let me try parrying him. And as you saw, like, I'm getting better at it. <laughs> like, I do know the buckler has a special parry, which is a lot easier to pull off. So I mean, you're just not using that because you don't have it. Yeah, I don't. But it's also, I would like to do the dual sword build and learn how to do it there because I can. Right. And it's fun and looks cool. So it turns out that is actually parryable. You just have to go way later than I would have been.
Cheese man skeleton. Oh, god damn it. I had fucking my flask of physic out. I need to put that back in my quick bar so I stop accidentally using it. And I'm sure eventually the uh, data will be out of which weapon has best parry animations. Most assuredly. I don't know if I really like that the idea that parry is a weapon art, personally, but... Yeah. I mean, that's how it was in 3, right? Yeah. Well, no. Three didn't have weapon arts. Did it? I did. No. No, you left trigger. You them out, but you had weapon arts. I think some did. Everything I don't remember. Yeah. I did. I just didn't fucking use them. <laughs> like a lot of medium and small shields had parry. Oh yeah, you're right. I know what you're talking about now, because there were certain ones that had like spell parry and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, all right. But yeah, like things like Cestus or like even Fists just had just worked good because they had very high startup animation for parry. So I'd run around with the Cestus and insta parry everything. And that's kind of what I'm trying to do now, and I really just can't. Got to tweak stuff, make it a little bit different. Oh, can't go back. Yeah, I got about a half. I'm gonna try to beat this guy within like a half hour or so because I gotta go to bed soon. Do I get to come out of here now? No, I think I'm fine. Yes. But yeah, I'll sit here and just keep it. <coughs> Where the fuck did that arrow come from? <coughs> Where are you standing? You... Mm. any of my ranged options had half the range that the fucking artillery men in this game have. Oh, yeah. Or the accuracy. I would just take that. Those fucking ancestral warrior dudes in Seopra they are absurd. Oh my god, their tracking is so bad. It's like fucking hit scan. Just are you within line of sight? Even for just a moment, we're hitting you in the head. Yeah. Remember 
same point how oh, you guys are trying to make an argument that well the way the area is set up it's supposed to teach you that you can hide behind cover and they, once you get close enough to them they stop doing like powered up shots and start firing regular arrows yeah the problem is is when you have three all providing overwatch of one another right and the other part about that is you can easily teach that lesson without them one hitting you in the head every time and two making it so they take half your health when they hit you you can't learn a lesson when they don't give you enough time to learn the lesson. Yeah. Yeah, and as you said, having multiple of them watching each other. So if you're under, you know, you're trying to hide from one. Yeah. Note said cleric ahead, and there were many, many upvotes. I am terrified as to what that actually means. <laughs> I think I'm going to give it one more attempt and probably call it for the night. I'll definitely pick it up again tomorrow. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if it's one of those things where you stop doing it and then you come back and you just ace it in the first shot. It's a definitely a possibility, but it's, again, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I don't know if I'm pairing too early. I don't know if I'm pairing too late. Well, that's the thing about that is most people don't understand that taking a break is actually something that helps you with muscle memory. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. I've definitely had times where... The problem I've, like, is I have to unlearn to 600 hours of it. Right. Like, I've had... I can think of multiple occasions where I've been trying to, like, learn some really tough base part. And I'll be sitting there playing it for, like, hours at a time, like, trying to piece it together slowly, bit by bit. And I, like, I won't play it all for, like, three or four days. And then I'll pick it back up again, and I just go straight through it like I'm not even thinking about it. Like, what the fuck, brain? Can't you, like, turn that on? I think I'm pairing too early. Or too soon, I should say. The uh, sword? Yeah. Like, I'm getting partials from fucking, like, here to tomorrow, which is why I'm not dying from a lot of these. Oh my god, it hitched there bad. Did you see that? What is up with the hitching in this boss? Like, it was never this bad. And it's not because I'm streaming, because I've been streaming this, like, every time I've played this game. Uh, I, I, it just caught up and I saw that. That was... Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen people have that same type of problem, but I don't know what, like, the... I don't know what like the exact cause of it is aside from just you know. I had a bunch of web pages open. Let greatly me... optimized. Yeah. Here, I'm gonna do one more. I closed out. I, I closed out of my 20 brave tabs. Let me see if that helps. <laughs> I was watching someone play a uh, uh, fighting what was it? Tree Sentinel yeah. right at the beginning, and they were just getting fucking 
molly whopped. Yeah. Oh, all right. Yep. One more. No, it's this fight. No. Oh, the uh, the double god skin. The double double. Oh. Yeah, like that's the other thing too. Like, man. I don't know. We've said it enough. The fucking the twin fights in this game are just trash. Like, I don't know if I can think of a single good one. No. But everyone. Love fucking Snow and Ornstein, so now we have to do it every I time, mean, all the time. Like, I don't have an issue with Snow and Ornstein. Right, but that's what I'm saying is, like, it very much feels like FromSoft learns the wrong lessons about stuff in that, like, oh, we did this double fight and people really liked that. We should keep doing it. Yeah, because that one's definitely supposed like to be like a Snow and Ornstein. It's a small, light, and fast guy versus a big, fat supposed to be slow guy but he's really not no that's that's one of the biggest things about this is that they're just they do not adhere to like the archetypes they need everything to in this game is so fast everything there is not a single enemy that despite its size is like appropriately uh, swift Like, the, the fucking Godskin Noble, he is literally the biggest, fattest motherfucker in the game. Yeah, and, and he, he dances around with a fucking rapier. Yeah, he's got a rapier. He does the fucking belly bump, he rolls around like he is the epitome of the fat guy. He has the fat guy moveset. And yet... He is fatty stabs. Which was actually a character I made in Dark Souls 1. Fatty Stabby. <laughs> no, just Fatty Stabs. He was a guy who ran around Snow's armor with uh, Ricard's rapier. Oh my God. <laughs> I think I had to put like 80 points into Endurance with Havel's Ring in order to make him actually be able to mid-roll. Okay, I think that was more of an attempt, but I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Because that's just... <laughs> I'm just not getting it yet. I'm definitely better than when I first started, like, day one, which is what I was going to do, because I'm like, oh, it's fucking day one Elden Ring. I'm just going to go through and fucking parry the shit out of everything. Because that's how I play these games. I just parry things. I don't like hiding behind shields. I don't like using counter mechanics like that. I like parrying. It makes me feel like I'm good at something. And the game said, no. Nah. Yeah, pretty much. Holy crap, so many games have to update. Alright, I'm gonna jump off then. I will talk to you later. Okay. I'll be on tomorrow. Yeah. Alright, later let's weeks. go. See ya. Alright, thanks for everyone who hung out. For those of you who still did. So, have a good one. I'll probably be playing more tomorrow. Um, though it might be Forza, just because I want to get my weeklies in before that.